So we're back at Blade Systems Insight 2011. I'm Alan Bondi from the Pulse Network, joined by Carl Catulli from Eaton. How are you, Carl? I'm doing fine, thank you for inviting me. So we've been hearing an awful lot about green IT, we've been hearing about monitoring, we've been hearing about power, we've been hearing about the cloud. How, is this all coming together? It seems like all these topics are kind of merging into uh, one big topic. Well, I think you kind of hit it on the head. I think uh, really where the trends are going, they are culminating uh, to really a new breed of, uh, of data centers that are being super efficient, uh, and that efficiency is leading to a lot of the new technology adoption, which you know we talked about uh, in my presentation, that really helps uh, the, the cooling systems get as efficient as possible. And as anybody knows, the easiest way to get efficient is match supply to demand. And don't oversupply and don't over demand. And, and efficiency is not just in terms of savings, but obviously performance, right? So we've talked during this event about the types of things people can do in these new supercharged data centers, the analysis, the correct. insights, the smart buildings, the smart consumer devices. It's not just about saving money and being green, but it's also doing new things that we haven't been able to do before. That is, that is absolutely correct. And really, in being able to support that environment uh, brings to light new applications and new opportunities for compute. Uh, and you know, as data centers begin to evolve, particularly the cloud begin to evolve, I really see where the cloud is going to end up uh, is much like the utility companies today supplying energy to our homes. The cloud can supply compute horsepower as a base load as well as hit and support the demand of compute. That happens with those types of uh, applications that are, are not every day, uh, they are somewhat infrequent and maybe even unpredictable and the cloud can handle that. So, we've talked a lot about cloud. Talk a little bit about, for the viewers, um, sort of how does Eaton fit in here? Sort of what's your sweet spot? What are you seeing when you get called in by a customer? They call you for this reason or that reason. Sort of how, how do you guys get sure. involved and what's your typical role within, say, the build out of some of these next generation data centers? Sure, so, uh, you know, with that, you know, that's kind of a greenfield question. It says when they're building a new one, where do we play? And really where Eaton plays is the entire uh, power infrastructure right from the utility uh, company all the way down to plugging in uh, the IT power supply and every component and every option in between there. Really gives us a lot of capability and a lot of flexibility to be able to support the nowadays demand. Additionally, we're, we're uh, really deployed onto the white space. And this is the space where the actual computers reside, racking equipments, power distribution equipment, uh, cable management systems, and of course air containment, which is really what is giving you uh, some of the bigger options in the uh, cooling arena by separating the hot and cold air demand. So it really is about the white space. I mean, uh, as a marketer, I think about white space in terms of design and balance. It sounds like within the data center, it's all about the white space. That is true. I mean, and that's really where the battle is won and lost, is uh, on the white space. Normally the white space decision makers are really the ones that are the driving force behind the data center. And, and really supporting their preferences and constraints what Eaton is all about. Uh, you know, obviously they, they have a certain constraint that they have to uh, be able to live with, but they have a lot of preferences too. Uh, and as we uh, balance the, uh, our response to those preferences and constraints, really brings to light a collaborative approach to building a data center. So I know on another panel, we saw people talk about futures and yes. predictions, and not to put you on the spot, but what's one of the predictions that maybe the audience and our viewers here aren't thinking about in this space, whether they're on the IT side, the data center side, the storage side, maybe one prediction to wrap with. Sure, uh, you know, really where I see uh, a major prediction coming in the data center, for compute horsepower in every aspect of the data center, really it turning into a uh, utility type application where people will, will buy and sell horsepower for compute, networking, and storage as, uh, as you buy electricity watts today. Great, so we're talking uh, the future of data centers. We're here at Blade Systems Insight 2011. Thanks so much for talking with me. All right, thank you.